Alright guys, how's it going? It's me, August Does Music, and I'm back with another video. Uh, this is the follow-up to my XXL video that I made um, probably about a week ago now at this point, and I feel like there was more I had to say, and I thought about it, and I thought it would be a really interesting idea to come here and show you guys what my XXL freshman list would have been, because I made a lot of claims at them for picking some making some choices that I wasn't such a big fan of. And I thought maybe if I came on here and said what I thought should have been in the list, you would get a better idea of what my, you know, ideal follow up um, grouping of underground artists would be. All right. So first off, let's look here at the, hold on, the double XL freshman list that we got this year. So we got 12 artists, so I wanted to keep it to 12 artists because, uh, I don't know, I thought that would just make it a little bit feel a little bit more structured. But before I did that, I thought maybe I should just see who I really need to keep because there's some artists here that I want to keep, and I kept two. And those artists are shown here. Um, so I kept Baby Tron and I kept Casey. Baby Tron was just, you need to have Baby Tron on a double XL list if you're going to make a double XL list this year. And Casey, who had that great record that came out, mixtape, sorry, and he was on the 5 Year Foreign album, I think that it's important that he also stays. I think everyone else is not essential and can leave. So those are my two picks. All right, so first let's talk about the first genre that I wanted to get into was plug and B because it's such a big part of the underground right now. And for plug and B, I brought in Opian members, Ken Carson and destroy lonely because they are kind of modernizing and revolutionizing alongside playboy Cardi, the plug and B sound and aesthetic. They're super important and like a cult have a cult following within the underground. It's honestly shocking that neither of them got on the list this year. But I guess Double XL just wanted to play it safe. For Plug and B, I also got an artist that seemed like a shoe in, but I think declined the offer, and that's Yeet. I think he needs to be on this list. He's so big that he's getting collabs with the Minions. So yeah, he should definitely be on this list. We're talking about big deal underground people, as well as I threw Lucky in there too, because you know I think Plug and B is so important, and Lucky kind of trailblazed for that community. So I figured he should be on this list as well. Um, so next, I believe I pulled in I pulled in Young Lean. So you might be like, Young Lean's been around forever. Why are you putting Young Lean on your double XL freshman list? But I think this year is the first exposure a lot of people are getting to Young Lean. I mean, I knew about him, but with his song Ginseng Strip blowing ups as much as it did on TikTok, I think that he's really in the eyes of the community in rap more than he obviously ever has been in his whole career. So I think someone like Young Lean is just needs to be on this list. Like he, I mean, it's kind of an out there pick, but I, I think that this is his biggest year and that he should capitalize it by getting a spot on my personal XL freshman list. Um, so I got two kind of abstract artists here. I pulled Red Veil and I pulled Z Loopers. Z Loop, both of these artists actually went on tour with big experimental and industrial hip hop artists. Um, within the last year, Z Loopers went on tour with JPEG Mafia and Red Veil went on tour with Denzel Curry. And I think that makes them a lot more prominent. Z Looper has been around a long time, but his new record, I mean, it just feels right. He needs the recognition to get some recognition that he deserves. So I put him on my list. Red Veil is just coming up now. He's only 18 years old. He deserves it. Um, next I have SSG Kobe. This kind of fills the Sofago slot for me. So it's in that kind of mainstreamer trap lane. He's in there with, um, Trippy Red because he made that record with him. It was, I mean, well, he made a record with Trippy Red. Yeah. I put Mike Dimes because he was important because he's from where I'm from. So maybe a little bit of bias on that one. And my wild card Tizo touchdown. I don't even know if he counts as a rapper, but you know, I put him on here because he was on the um, user valet. And that's my list for this year. Hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like and subscribe.